you write me, booker at bookerlawfirm.com. Your question ends up on the show. Bring you to the court of my public opinion. We're not going to look at this as legal advice because I don't represent you. And I may not have all of the facts that I need. However, I'm going to do the best job that I can with what I have. Without further ado, let's get it crack a lacking. Order in the court. What's up, y'all? Sorry, not ready yet, but I'm going to be ready. And I promise I'm going to start this. Okay, so it is a baby. It is what it is what's up y'all what have y'all been up to i see a few people have emailed me honey and i am going to answer your questions and y'all people just go on the channel and they just ask me like questions or how they can you know get their questions on the show or whatever i give them two different ways they can either be on the show but not be on the show um and it's in the comments in the replies on the uh different uh videos okay and so they just do you know what i ask them to do if they would like to have their question posed here and so i have a few um to go over as usual um so let's roll and guys if i post your stuff i'm not going to say it's from you unless you tell me in the email to do so i'm going to keep it confidential okay so i just want that to be understood girl i want it in the court ready to move forward okay let me see, because I'm going to answer the latest ones that I received first. <clears throat> what constitutes a peer in a state jury of one's peers? Is it the same in race, gender, socioeconomic status, background, age, education level, or a minimum combination of any of the census demographics? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, some intelligent questions. Guys, this is the problem. We don't have juries of our peers. If we're this color um if we're white yes the jury is of our peers if you're asian no the jury is not of your peers if you are indian the jury is not of your peers if you are anything other than white the jury is not of your peers okay but it is what it is those are the people who are answering it's so cold outside wind is blowing those are the people that are answering the jury summons and showing up so those are the people that you get when they say that you should have a jury of your peers, what they're saying is people out there that look like you, people that act like you, people that 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 look like um, you, uh, people that have your education level, people that have your job. It's all of the uh, conglomeration of the things that you just listed. So we're going to go back over what you listed. You said, is it the same in race? Yes, that is what we are seeking to aim to get. Is it the same as in gym? Yes, that is what they are seeking to get. Socioeconomic status, absolutely. That is what they are looking for. Background, yes. They want them to be the same socioeconomic background. They want you all to have the same age, the same education level, okay? It's all of these things. And here's the issue, guys. This is the problem, you know, when people get the jury summons and they don't go. There have been plenty of times that I have had a young black girl with eyelashes and weave to the back of her legs or... A young black um, girl that just was a, a young black girl with no weave, or I've had a mulatto um, or a person of mixed race and or descent hang a jury, hang a jury, and so that's why you want people that look like you on the jury. You want the jury to be made up of people, a mix of people, so that you get a fair shake. If it's a bunch of older, conservative, white Trump supporters on a jury and you're up for robbery, if it is a bunch of older black women on a jury and you are up for a hate crime, <clears throat> how can that affect you? You understand what I'm saying? And so that's why a jury of your peers is important. It's important that people go to, you know, when you get your jury summons, go. Go to jury duty because it allows the attorneys like myself to be able to pick from a pool of people so that we can pick the ones out of that pool that look like our clients, that have the race of our clients, that have the socioeconomic level and background of our clients, that have the same level of education as our clients. Because sometimes people just 
God forgive me for saying this, but they shit on you because you're nothing like them. They can't compare themselves to you. They and when you can't compare yourself to somebody, then you don't you can't put yourself in their shoes. You won't understand what they're saying and you won't be able to empathize, sympathize, agree with. It's hard for you to agree with somebody that you look nothing like. You all don't have the same experiences, you all don't have the same anything. And so the fact the, the thinking that someone who's nothing like you is gonna understand you. It's a cold shot in the dark. So that is why, you know, and I'm sorry, my hands are just ashy. It is cold outside. That is why, and I wash them all the time because of Corona. But um, that is why we as attorneys push, you know, a lot of politicians push. I just saw y'all, and I was so happy. Our district clerk, Marilyn Burgess, put up a uh, an ad. And the ad that she put up with, uh, she put up was like, you need a jury of your peers. And it was a lot of Hispanic black and Asian people in the jury pool and like one or two whites and so what she was basically trying to do was t was say hey y'all ain't come to jury duty and you're not giving yourself a fair shake Hispanics where are you Asians where are you Indians where are you blacks where are you young folks where are you because y'all have to understand that times change the law is a living and breathing thing and what happens is you don't want a whole bunch of retired ass people because they are the only ones that have the damn time to come to jury duty per se um to be ju judging you they don't even know what the hell the latest song is that's out they have nothing they have no, no idea what's popping they don't understand any sort of uh linguistics uh or anything that comes across the jury booth that has to do with hip-hop or that may have to do with country music because they listen to classical so it's like, and you need those things. I remember when I was a young attorney, I used to sit with a guy named Ronald Ray a lot. And when I used to sit with Ronald Ray and I worked under him, he was like, man, you give me that edge I need because I'm older. You know, he's an older guy. Um, he's Muslim and that doesn't mean anything different. He's black. But at the end of the day, he's just not in the mix like that. And I'm in the mix. So when it comes up to stuff on the police report where they're using slang and stuff, I can tell the jury what that means. I can question the witness and ask the witness what you meant by that so that the jury gets an understanding of what the witness meant. Because let's think about it. Let's just say uh, somebody says, I'm going to F you up. Okay? There are different, and you're up for assault. There are different reasons when somebody says, I'm going to F you up. Somebody could be saying, I'm going to F you up in a good way. Like you're dancing, and I'm going to F you up and, tear, and, 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 and break it down. They could be saying, I'm going to F you up like I'm going to hurt you. They could be saying, I'm going to F you up in a joking way. But if somebody who is not of your, that is not your peer, not from your socioeconomic level, your background, they may take that, you're in an assault case, and I'm going to F you up, guilty, because you said you were going to mess them up. And if they don't even understand that that's not what you was talking about. Y'all was at the club and you was talking about dancing. You understand what I mean? So that's why a jury of your peers is important. It's important because a lot of times slang is used in a lot of cases. Um, there's not many formalities surrounding a lot of criminal cases. And old, staunch white people are conservative and they are formal. Period. They don't like us talking like they think this is really right here. You understand what I'm saying? So, of course, I can't talk like this if I'm in court, but I'm talking to you, right? If I were to talk to them like this, they would say I was being rude. I wasn't being formal enough. This is an inappropriate behavior and speech and verbiage. So that is why you want a jury of your peers. Next case. Next case. And I, I like that question. We need to be in jury duty. Next one. Can an everyday citizen with no connection to a criminal case in Texas, 5th District, request print copies of court transcripts, questions and testimony, not records or evidence? If so, how? Guys, this is pretty much how it works. If you are not a party to a criminal case, you don't have a right to the criminal, to the records, okay? Um, you have to be requesting them for some reason. You can't just be somebody off the street and say, I'm going to request a transcript. Now, the media does it all the time, and that's why a lot of the times the judges have to determine whether or not they're going to release that stuff. Transcripts are normally given to uh, the parties or family members. I've had family members of parties on their family members' behalf request transcripts. Um, I would assume that technically on the surface, yes. On the surface, yes. Unless it's a sealed case, you can request records of any court transcripts, questions or testimony, unless that testimony was locked down. 
Um, so yeah. But it just, it sometimes there are hills that you will run into in doing that um, if you don't have any connection to that case, okay? Another thing is, um, but you can always try. But more than likely, yes, you will get the records. Um, what's a thing? You know what? How would you know how to get the records? You'd have to get them from the court reporter. The court reporters, they're... Uh, locked up.